so Colorado. I think they found a perfect spot for our volcanic layer. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Evil. <laughs> when you're driving to uh, the National Park that you're s slowly to ascending up um, so you're getting higher and higher just really recommend that you bring make sure you bring a pair of pants and a jacket with you this is the steam vents it's right down from the visitor center and they are steaming right here <laughs> It kind of has a almost coffee scent to it. Well, we are next to Kona. <laughs> yeah, we got a little hot water. Yeah, these are cool. Let's check out these vents. These are really cool. Walking out to the rim, you can see all the steam coming up. So you can walk from the visitor center. It's only 0.7 miles. Oh, wow, we're getting closer and closer to it. you keep hearing is that helicopter yeah there's some steaming venting right there very cool they're steaming all along here steaming right here so there's the volcano house we were just at and we're taking pictures from there see all the steam along here is very abrupt. You've got a volcano and you've got a forest. <laughs> <laughs> Over here is where we should put our secret layer. Yep. Embed it into this hill and we'll have geothermal heating. <laughs> along with but power. can we have sharks with laser beams, you promise? <laughs> really like is there's just not that many people here we're just not sharing the park with hundreds and hundreds of people at the moment and we're here in the beginning of February pointing back to the volcano house and he's got the thermal going and right where that steam's coming out it's how hot 111 111 You have a hot spot like right in the middle here, which I can't believe there's things growing down there. I mean, I see a little bit of vegetation. Well, you can see the tree lines all green, right? Yeah. You see the white? Uh-huh. That's all hot. And as you pan across, 
see the white. That's all hot. That's all vents over there. Smoking. You can see the smoke going by us. <laughs> you can actually see the, um, the steam fluctuate on this. 129, 127. 130. Awesome. And you can see all the green trees around them, which really makes it cool. The purple's really cold. The purple's 61 degrees. So you've doubled your temperature by the time you move over to here. We've been looking at the Kilauea cra uh, crater, which is the caldera, and then right now we're at the um, Kilauea parking lot, and then so this summit right here is Mauna Loa. So that's Mauna Loa right there. This huge summit that goes up. Okay, and then the crater. Is right here as you can tell most of these paths they're all every path I've been on so far is accessible so you shouldn't have any problems with any kind of wheelchairs so over there is the volcano house that we started at and so you can go along now you gotta be really careful of you know sinkholes it says but you can walk all, all along the rim this is pretty cool. Well, you can really see the cracks from when it, you know, it collapses, it causes cracks. You can see them over here. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. sensors down there those look like sensors like right in this area it looks like sensors oh my goodness this is amazing up some hot spots from here yeah we're gonna pull out the thermal camera now we're getting closer oh my god that is amazing talking about is that there's an observation tower over there that we're going to walk over to. We just walk a little bit up on this path. As you can see, we're very close to the parking lot. Wow. So the ocean is right in that area there. So the housing area that we were in yesterday that got destroyed in 2008 
13 is somewhere out in that area, I believe. I'm pretty sure it is. But look at how it's calving in right there. See all the cracks? Yeah, you can really see how the earth is, the caldera's collapsed <laughs> right in this area here where you can see all the fissures right here. Those are all fissures. Volcano house that we started out in is like right there. And we've just gone along the rim. So there's Mauna Loa, that summit, this whole thing. And then here's the crater. That's what we can see from our hotel. See the observation telescopes? And there was snow in there this morning. It looks like it's already melted. It was actually totally covered when we flew in. There's a little bit, isn't there? No, those are the observations. <laughs> it just gets better and better and better and better. It's the smoldering cra crater here. <laughs> Basically, this was all level. Okay, so you've got this levelness here. And what collapsed was from here all the way over. So all this collapsed during 2018. So all the way down there, and it was at this level. And that kind of puts it in perspective. really bummed there's that we are missing lava at the moment. But you know you could be standing here when it collapses and you'd be thinking, damn, is this going to? I am out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so if you walk to the parking lot up to the lava observation, there's a bit of a incline. So if you have problems with that, just make sure you bring lots of water with you if it's a warm day. Of an incline, and and, back to the truck for my rope and, <laughs> and remember you're in a little bit of altitude about I don't know what here how high we are maybe 3500 but if you're not used to it you might be a bit out of breath so this is where you normally would go to see the lava but <laughs> we're here at a time where it has solidified on the top of it, so where there's no lava lake that's viewable, which I'm really bummed about. Well,